Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm starting a new... Uh, sorry, I'm putting my... I'm preparing myself to go to, to write. So I am starting a new series uh, where I will be answering some questions that... Well, I'm going to use questions that I have already answered on Facebook groups, on different Facebook groups, and I'm going to bring them here and answer them because I love helping people. And whenever I see all these writers that they are trying so hard, doing so many things to be able to ride like they want, to be able to do whatever it is that they want with their horses, and yet they are struggling so much. And they come to the... To the groups and they ask for advice and they get lots of advice and there's very very good advice there but the thing is that if you're not in that group well you will not be able to see neither the question nor the advice that the person got and i am only sharing this because i think that it's a shame for you not to know about these answers or what can help you. Today's question from, comes from S. Marshall and she says, help. It's a beautiful day, but I feel so much anxiety and pressure built up me that I'm withholding from going to work my green bean because I don't want to mix all this negative energy up with her. What can I do? I can literally feel this weighing down on my chest. Oh my gosh, when I read this, it made me pretty sad, guys, like really, because I know where this girl is and I know what she's feeling. And I know that sometimes we can let all this negativity get the best of us for, and unmotivate us. So I wanted to share my answer, what I gave her as an answer here. But before, I'm going to go ride my horse and I'm going to share that with you also. So let's go. Let's leave now. Okay, guys, so I just got to the barn and I wanted to talk to you while I was getting my horse ready, but it is going to be impossible because there's like a windstorm out there. So what I'll do is that I'll go in, I'm going to ride my horse, I'm going to show you what I worked on and I will be talking to you when I get back home. Okay guys, so I just came back from riding my horse and as you can see, it was a lot of work. So anyways, let's get back to the question that this girl put out on Facebook. I was, as I told you, I was heartbroken when I read it because so many times we tell ourselves that we don't want to go to ride when we have a bad day because we don't want to put our horses on a bad situation just because we had a bad day. And of course, that's nice from us. We are thinking about them and that's very important. But the thing is that I can assure you that if you know why you are going to to ride what is the reason that you're going to ride what you want to accomplish that day if you have a plan on what it is that you have to do every time that you get on your horse believe me you can have bad days you can have good days you can have meh days it's like you will know that you will get into the work and it can even help you like get out of your funk because you will be concentrated you know what you want to achieve so you're just going to do it and of course, guys, I'm not telling you that every day is going to be perfect and that if you have a plan, that if you have a goal, that if you know what you're going to do every time that you ride, everything is going to be perfect. Of course, it's not. But at least because you know why you have to ride that day, because you know what you want to achieve, you are going to push through it and you're going to push through bad Times. What's a little bit scary there is that you know that sometimes we can have several bad days in a row. So what will happen? It will happen that you won't be able to go ride your horse. You will continue feeling worse because you're not even having that good time with your horses and it's going to snowball. It's going to become a big, big issue. 
Instead, if you have a bad day, you assess it. You say like, okay, this is it. You can have bad days. You can have those days when you feel like today is really not the day to go to my horse because I won't be nice with him or her. But the thing is that if you have a goal and you know why you want to achieve this, that's the most important thing. It's not even having a goal. Goals, we can have lots of goals. But if it's not something that really, really like you really want to achieve like no matter what it's not going to be easy for you to tell yourself okay bad day don't not a problem i have to do this i have to go right i have to go take the time and just put in the work and you will see that the more you go through those days those bad days and that you continue with your plan the easier it will get and you will be feeling better faster. There are some times that you are not going to be able to ride, but those days you must have a really good reason not to do it. And having a bad day, it's not one because life happens and we all have bad days, bad weeks, bad months, bad years. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you today guys about because I feel that I'm not telling you that you're giving yourself excuses a little bit. But that's not what I'm talking about. It's like, I'm not telling you stop with the excuses. I'm just telling you like, try to see it in another way. Tell yourself that if you don't go right because you're having a bad day, it's going to be even worse. That's snowball effect. So just do it. That's the best advice I can give you guys. So anyways, please, if you like this video, put a thumbs up, even if it's just one, even if the only like that comes to this video is yours it does make a difference i really 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 want to help as many people as possible so i will be seeing you on the next video guys bye